Jamers, what's going on? You already know it's your favorite camper, Trinidad, James. And we're in New Jersey, man, Edison, New Jersey. Yo, coming to check out my boy shop called Clientele. I'm gonna take you on a field trip. You ready? Let's do it. Guys, we are inside Clientele and I'm with my man, the ghost, the man himself. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good. Can't complain. This store is beautiful. Thank you. This store is beautiful. Thank you. We I tried. must say that twice. Okay. okay. We tried really hard. We uh we put a lot of effort into this store. I've been rocking with this guy since the first shop. Where was the first? Tell me, where was the first shop? The first shop was East Coast. Uh, we started that about four and a half years ago. And when I started it, it was just a spur of the moment name. I didn't really think about, you know, marketing and branding. East Coast boutique. Yeah, exactly. I didn't really think about all of that. So we progressed. We left there after three years. We were downstairs in this mall. We continued to be East Coast. And then when I saw the store, like the aesthetic and the vision that I had. I wanted to take it to a different level. So I wanted to incorporate, you know, the sneakers, the art, the clothing. Of course. And, 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 you know, give my vision of what I think a dope experience would be at a store. So show me around the shop, man. So this is like our Supreme section. So we tried to separate um, all the little cutters that we did by either brand or, you know, like Supremes in the front, Bake, we have all that stuff. The, the old polo stuff that you can't yes. find. Kids, the, the beer, the polo beer. I'm gonna tell you, I guess I'm getting older, but this right here, this was Supreme. Like, this was the hype. Yes. Of this course. was like, oh my God. Trust me, kids, I know that you're gonna get your Supremes, you're gonna get your, your palaces, you're gonna get your issue off, you know, do all that. Your Yeezy season four, five, six, seven, eight. Do what you wanna do, but understand where your, the things that you wear now, where it comes from. Exactly. I mean, I feel honestly, and I don't know a lot about Edison, mm -hmm. but I feel that you're doing a service to the community yeah. to put them on knowledge, put them on art, put them on. Well, see, I just, you know, from a streetwear perspective. Street rep, yeah. But I wanted to have like a complete one stop shop. Art, fashion, hip hop, culture, everything. I always want to be the largest store in New Jersey. Right. I always want to be the biggest provider of sneakers to New Jersey as well as streetwear and all this fashion thing Correct. and do that. So that's, in my mind, that's, I like providing that for the community. Because yeah. I feel like, like you said, it's kind of almost doing a service for people. Like, I'm, we're providing something for you, a place for you to go and get fresh and understand where all this stuff comes from. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, camp jammers all around the world, I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. John Reaper himself. And he's about to teach me a lesson because, you know, I can't lie to you guys, I don't know nothing but 2% about cars or bait. And hey, I feel it's the same way about you guys. You just buy it, but do you know anything about it? So let's learn today. Let's start with a piece like this right here. Kind of give me a breakdown of what we got here. Look, it's a rug. Yeah, so it's, right. it's, it's a special piece, man. You got you got art collectors that are millionaires, heavy into cars, and they don't got this. Okay. Like this, this released around 2008. I'm not sure on retail. Retail was probably about two, three hundred dollars, okay. and they sell. I've seen them sell in the last year. It's been an influx up to three to six thousand dollars, which is crazy. Let's take us around the store, and you know. Please put me Absolutely. up. You know what this I'm is saying? your tour. This Please, is your tour. I, I get five tours a day. <laughs> okay. 100%. Then you got the bear grip. 1000%. Now we're coming down this way, and now we're back to this is Marikami on this left. My man learning. Bam. Okay, and then this is cars on the right. 100%. Boom. So now, the Hennessy bottle. What's, what's the deal with that? So the Hennessy bottle released, I'd say about 10 years ago. Okay. Um, it was a collaboration that I never first saw. Like it was an amazing thing. Uh, I was I was stationed in San Antonio at the time, and I walked into the PS, which is the corner store. Okay. And there was like about fifty bottles on the shelves. Of the, that one. Of those. No, 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 no. I bought one. No, 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 no. No. I'm coming back no. My man. Oh, oh my God. In the liquor store. store. In the liquor store. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be right back. And I made that mistake. I wish I had a flex capacitor. I'd get in that DeLorean and go back and buy all 50 bucks. 
Nah, boy, well, hey, man, I appreciate the My knowledge, brother. man. No, pleasure. It's you know, an honor. You know, like, tell everybody where they can reach you and find out more about what you do. Please, social media, tell them, please. I'm a grail hunter, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help. Legit checks, whatever you need, hit me up on Instagram, John Reaper 916 Love is love. You see me in the streets, it's all love. So last but not least, we get to the good stuff. We're about to go to the stuff that the kids want to see. We're here. We we are we are the well, I mean ahead. so now you've seen a lot of my shoes of previously course, so man. you know so I'll just some things for guys for I, I'm not, this guy is so now the heat rock the heat easies rock. there's not many shops you go into and there's two pairs of undefeated and the, the funny story with the undefeated is I have the the you know the orange laces and the black laces it's I'm too lazy to actually take out the laces and switch them so I have two pairs it is what it is so it's like when I want to wear the yellow I mean the orange I wear the orange when I want to wear the black pull these out check these out yeah of course brother you can see all worn bro all worn. Both worn. Wear all my shoes. Both worn. You know, most people would keep a shoe, keep a dead stock, right. and the other one. Nah. Both worn. Everything, pretty much everything that's in here is worn. There's maybe one or two shoes that are not. Dead. What's the deal with these? Okay, so this is a, an actual shoe that they were playing with in like 2010. It's a mesh sample 11. They obviously went with the old, you know, suede on it and yeah. didn't do the mesh, but they made this size nine and then they made a kid size. Oh. And this is like the actual sample for that. I mean, a lot I of just, people think it's in, it's interesting. Just, <laughs> it's mesh, I just realized, like, I'm like, what's that's what's different? different. That's what's different. It's, it's mesh. mesh. Yeah, it's mesh. And like, cause like this one, is the suede. material that's usually exactly. there. Yep. Mesh yep. kind of nasty though. Yeah. I feel like they bring it back. I, it's that's, different. That's what they probably but, that, but see, when they were retroing the shoes, I feel like they didn't do it because honestly, the mesh is a different shoe. Mm, okay. It's not really retroing the same shoe. Right, it's right. almost its yeah, own like, shoe. It's, yeah, it's its own thing. Okay. Same colorway, right. but its own shoe. It's not the same material. That's kind of crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's interesting. But like I said, bro, look, you see all this. I wear my shit. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I wear my stuff. I'm sorry. So, you know, and then this is, uh, you know, Drake versus Lil Wayne. Shoe, crazy shoe, crazy Please. sample. Boom. Threes, dope. Again, wear everything. You love the Oh Oregon. my God. So LeBron Oregon 2 is home and away. It's a very hard set to get. So if you know anything about like any of the, the Oregon shoes and then LeBron samples, this honestly is a, a tough shoe to acquire. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone who wants to know something about shoes, this right here is a shoe. This is a shoe, like, trust me, you're not gonna be walking around nowhere and somebody had these on. Yeah. This is, this is the big kahuna. These are early <laughs> LeBron samples. So, so they're very, like, when you got to say like a seven, eight, nine, they made a, a, a whole lot of different colorways and a lot of different stuff. But you know, when you get back to the older models, there wasn't as many, there was a lot, there just wasn't as many. But like he said, out of the two, this Oregon one is definitely probably the best one. The old one on the back right there. Do y'all see this? Am I the only person, or do you, I'm the only person that feels like crazy inside, like my body is tingling, like this is me holding this in person. Like this is a shoe. This is a shoe. See how they got all like the lasering on the inside and stuff? Nah, They're this really is a shoe. Like, if you didn't know that this existed, trust me, this ain't cheap and this ain't for no light collector. Mm -hmm. This is real deal, holy field, okay? My goodness. So, Jordan Brand played with putting the 23 on the Chicago when they retroed it, and then the same thing with the Stealth. Um, they ended up not going with the 23 on either one of them. So, you know, they went with the 45 and then the regular Chicago. Mm. So this 23 is actually, you know, a, a very unique shoe just because it's the only one that has the 23 on the side. Same thing with this one. I actually wore this as my wedding shoe. That's my wedding shoe. It's legit. It's real. It's real. You heard it. You heard it out of the horse's mouth. It, that's how serious it is. God, I try to bring you guys people who always cared about the culture. We just want to give you knowledge. However you decide to collect, sell, bargain, that's on you. You're gonna do it the way, but you the way you wanna do it. Mm -hmm. But trust me, we've been doing this for a minute and we will not stay you down the wrong path. Crazy, crazy, crazy. For those camp jammers out there, 
You know what I mean? Come on, man. So when I actually had this shoot before Carmelo Anthony, that's like the whole big story. So I posted it up before he posted it on Instagram. And that's like how a lot of my following really started. I didn't show my face back in the day. It was stupid, but whatever. And I posted this shoe. And then after, it's ballistic material. It's a crazy material. It's a, you have to see it in person to understand the actual quality that went into this shoe. This is crazy. So I posted it up. And then he posted it maybe, I want to say maybe about a month after, and people were commenting on his page that he had the ghost PEs. Imagine telling a guy who's sponsored by Jordan Brand, who's making $20 million a year, and you have, out of, say, 3,000 comments, 1,000 comments telling him he's wearing someone else's shoe. Meanwhile, the shoe was made for him. Probably it's, a, today. it's a burgundy inside. Like, why is it burgundy in the yeah, inside? Red. I don't know. I, I like, said the same thing. Like, like the, the red's the only thing on the shoe that really doesn't make the sense because everything else, but it works. That's just how crazy these are. It's red on the inside. It works. Oh. Yeah, it works. That's, come on. These two are actually the super hard ones to find. Like, these shoes are honestly... Uh, I don't want to say impossible because there are a lot of other people out there. Shout out Big Phil. Big Phil got the set. You always see all the other, you know, LeBron 8s, but these yeah, two. And you usually you see the South Beach in this shoe. Yes. So, correct. you know, the South Beach is what you know. Yes. Just in case, like, for you wondering, like, what shoe is it? Like, the South Beach, like, the, the South Beach that really set it off. Yeah. It was this one. Yeah, model. so when he left Cleveland to go to Miami, they were courting him with all the different shoes, and then the South Beach came out, and then obviously, you know, all the other South Beaches. Cool. Yeah. So that's really it. Man, I really appreciate you showing us the shop, man. I am super happy to be in here. You know what you it know, is. And then I've seen where you started yeah, yes. and where you are right now. And what, you're three weeks in here? Yeah, three weeks in. Now, three weeks in. Hey, guys, if you're in New Jersey, Edison, New Jersey, please come to the mall, Manlo Park Mall. Come upstairs right above the Apple Store. Second level. It's only two floors in the mall. Come to clientele. Holler at the good people here. Talk shoes, talk clothes. If you want to know knowledge and get a good bang for your buck, man, right here, baby. You already know clientele, man. Cap Jamers, you already know, man. James, thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate all yep. this.